I just came across a post on the subreddit by the user Bert2 and discovered the best way to use G-Sync in CS2. Not gonna lie, the difference is huge. I compared two methods here. First method is G-Sync, V-Sync and Reflex enabled, which is Valve's recommended method. Second method is G-Sync, V-Sync enabled and no reflex in launch options. This method is the one shared by Bear2. Let's start by looking at the average frames per second and 1% lows. If you look at this benchmark, method 2 has 54% better 1 percentile FPS than Valve's recommended method. Now let's take a look at the 1 percentile frame times. First method has a frame time of 7.3 milliseconds, whereas in the method 2, it's 4.5 millisecond, which is roughly 40% better. And now here is the variance for both the benchmarks. Variance is basically the time difference between two consecutive frame time values. Variance less than 2 millisecond in the method 1 is 42.81%. However, it's 100% in the method 2, which is by far the biggest difference in these benchmarks. I cannot believe my eyes. The difference is day and night. This is by far the best way to use reflex in CS2. Kudos to Bear2 once again for sharing this. Now, I am going to share with you the settings you need to do to get method 2 working. Firstly, add no reflex in the launch options. Second, cap your FPS to 225 in the NVIDIA control panel. And the last thing you need to do is set low latency mode to on in NVIDIA control panel. That's it. You now have the best possible way to use G-Sync in Counter-Strike 2. I hope this works well for you. Waxbeer, a reliable Counter-Strike 2 skins marketplace that is easy to use, instant item delivery, great prices, multiple deposit methods including crypto, and quick withdrawals. Buy your next skin on Waxbeer, link is in the description below. Please subscribe to see more CS2 content. Peace.